What's up, everybody? This is Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, the fake lasers. I don't care. That's what it's all about, Crypto Muscle. On the Crypto Muscle Network. Thought I uh, kind of just do things a little bit differently today as I did some videos, um, platform updates, and I figured I'm going to do a midday news. You know, sometimes I do it in the early morning so I do it towards the end of the day but today is the midday news so let's take a look at the crypto market as <laughs> the global market cap of crypto is now nine and a half uh, billion I'm sorry nine hundred and a half billion nine hundred fifty billion back down again and these ebbs and flows in crypto it was over a trillion the other day. Now it's back down under. Could the merge have made a difference? Who knows, right? Or maybe it did, right? I mean, it's just so coincidental. The aftermath of the merge, right? Uh, Bitcoin's down. Ethereum's down. Everything's down. Look at the big, huge drop in Ethereum down 16% over the past week. And it's back under 1500 now. I mean, 1500 has been kind of like that area it's been staying in for a while. So, give or take, it's not a big drop off right now, but it was like 1700 before the merge. So, the way I'm looking at it is that the way they're kind of hanging around these kind of prices, the 20,000 area for Bitcoin, the 1500 area for Ethereum, people are undecided and I think what it is that with this indecision, all right, it's obviously not growing. So if it's not growing, what's what's it going to do? It's going to, to me, go in the opposite direction. It's going to go down. All right, I'm looking for an under 10K Bitcoin. I would love 5K Bitcoin, by the way. But I don't think I'll get there. But under 10K and a $500 Ethereum, just saying. All right. So, um, some of you guys might have questions about Ethereum merge and what was it, what happened. So, I just wanted to, I figured I'd do a quick rundown of what that, what happened there with that whole Ethereum merge that completed the other day. So, essentially, it's a major software upgrade and they said that it could revolutionize the cryptocurrency universe, right? So, the upgrade is called the merge. And it promises lower energy consumption to attract more users. Uh, and energy consumption is what makes Bitcoin, Bitcoin, right, consume a lot of energy through its mining. Um, and Ethereum is kind of, I guess, in that similar set, set of ways. They do, they, they do, and with a lot of activity, that is, for Ethereum, there's a lot of uh, gas involved in that. Quote, unquote, gas. Not real gas, but gas, right? So that's one of the things they wanted to bring down as well is being able to uh, find ways to bring down any sort of cost, right? Because if, it bring, if you're able to bring that down, you'll attract more consumption, I guess you could say, consumers. So they said that crypto production's high energy consumption is due to proof of work, POW. So they said that this is the way transactions are verified and more digital assets are produced. By upgrading the software, Ethereum is changing it to proof of stake, which will lower energy consumption, attract more users, speed up transactions. So Ethereum's already pretty fast. So it's gonna go faster, you know, supposed to, right? That's supposed to be what's happening. And it says one of the most, most important events in history for digital assets. All right, so it will make Ethereum more usable, scalable, and be better adoption. It's not such a bad thing, you know. Um, so proof of work, they said that to confirm a transaction in the blockchain, people might must solve uh, blah, 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 using powerful computing power right blah 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 blah. that's how bitcoin is it's you know constantly working on the blockchain transactions sometimes it could be slow sometimes it could be fast 
It all depends on activity, right? Proof of stake. This method replaces miners with validators who put their cryptocurrency up to collateral, as collateral, to create new blocks. Instead of individuals competing to be in the first to solve the puzzles to create new blocks, a person is chosen by random by algorithm to validate, confirm, and transact. So with all that, the benefits of it is that uh, you don't need to have massive computing power, which you know uses a lot of you know consumption of energy. Um, so then, in essence, it goes the other way. It'll bring down the use of energy, the cost of energy, and all that stuff, right? So that's what Ethereum's doing, and it remains to be seen what what will happen to that, right? So that's essentially what happened, all right? And Ethereum has never been truly decentralized like Bitcoin. Ethereum was started by a group of people, and blah blah blah. So yeah, that's what happened, all right? That's enough of all that stuff. Ooh, let's go straight to crypto news now, all right? And uh, let's see here what has happened in the last couple of days. First week when we hit a uh, big dump. All right, screw all this. Uh, all right, I was, sometimes I like to watch plebs. So happy merge day. We made it through the dump. Incoming still 72 to 96 hours. Just delayed. Well, it's, it's what's happening. It's been a slow dump, but overall it's been down 15% for the week. So just saying. Um, yeah, so at that time of the, at, on the 15th, which was just yesterday, it was down 3% already just from uh, the release update on the mainnet launch of the merge and Ethereum, right? Proof of work, fifteen hundred thirty-two dollars. Um, and then we saw here. Let's go back. Right now, it's uh, let's see over the past twenty-four hours since yesterday's post. There, it's down another five point four percent, and it's down to fourteen hundred twenty-three dollars right now. So, Gensler says staking may turn crypto into securities. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just, you know, they're, they're always trying to find ways to screw people over is what it is. And uh, it just sucks, you know. That's why it, to me, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm not into KYCs in crypto because... They're going to try to find a way to get you with it. And as long as you do what you're supposed to do, you know, you pay your taxes and all that. That's the best you can do to to be off any sort of radar, right? Um, so with this here, the U.S. Justice Department set to launch a unit focused on crypto crime. And on top of that, uh, they're looking to put out they've already put out framework for regulation of Bitcoin and digital assets so you could look at it as a plus and a, and a negative right because with regulation it's gonna really clamp down on you know quote-unquote scammers right and the fly-by-nights that come and go but at the same time it's gonna be strictly controlling I mean it's gonna be controlling what goes on in the market, kind of like the dollar, right? But now it's in digital form with crypto, which that sucks on that end, right? You're not going to see the all-time highs like it used to be unless the government does something to it. Uh, SEC from Thailand bans crypto firms from offering staking and lending service. Wow. So Thailand's already banning staking and lending. Probably because of the fallout of everything that's gone on these past few months. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. Ethereum Classic. ETC. That's Ethereum Classic. Hash rate grows by more than 250% per day. 
on the back of ETH transition to proof of stake. So let's see, Ethereum Classic, which is a poor man's Ethereum, that's down big time too. I think <laughs> because people think because it has the name Ethereum, people are buying and selling, trying to pump it up and do all kinds of shit too. And, uh, you know, it's down pretty big at, I mean, well, uh, Ethereum Classic, I don't know. I mean, what is it really about? Just just another Ethereum? I mean, I never cared about that shit. You know, just it's a poor man's Ethereum. If you want, I think what it is is that if people felt like they missed out back when Ethereum was like a couple hundred dollars from back in the days and five hundred dollars back in the days, you know, now it's well over a thousand. The gas fees were high. You know, people. They, they came out with this Ethereum Classic, and they're saying, hey, look, you get the next best thing, the next best Ethereum, right? So it probably pumped people into buying, you know, the the poor man's version here to make you feel good about it. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. Um, but it's still not the Ethereum, the OG. So I don't know, just my thought on that. The dollar index is back at 110. The S&P 500 futures are down 0.8%. Uh, the prerequisites for a bearish end to the week. Ethereum falls harder than Bitcoin and loses market share because the merge hype no longer supports the price. Yeah, well, duh, because of course you were going to pump shit up. And then what do you expect? Uh, ETC and RVN are also declining. Hash rate growth is such an argument for long term investors. Blah, 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 blah. Um,. Yeah, so that's what happened there. Very interesting that Thailand's ban banning staking and lending. Very interesting. Uh, SEC chair says system used by Ether following a software that could trigger securities laws. Man, people just got to, like, relax, you know, chill out. So Biden uh, just put out framework on regulating crypto. So, um, this is only the beginning, right? Which sucks. It's not a good thing. And let's see. But you know, with this whole merge crap, what's the point of Pulse Chain then? Just saying, right? Uh, unless it's more privatized and all that, then if anything, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, there's no point in Pulse Chain then, you know. So all this stuff with Pulse Chain, I mean, it's a waste. Uh, first mover Asia, a Bitcoin struggles following an inflation report. California crypto bill is an overstep. What are they doing in California? They want to prohibit California licensed entities from dealing with stable coins. Unless the stable coin is fully backed by securities and issued by a bank or licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Wow. Man, you know what? When it comes to California, they've continued to try to nickel and dime you for every little thing there is, right? And especially trying to tackle homeless problem uh, through bills that they try to put out there through, you know, they, like for example, um, they're going to uh, start allowing uh, sports betting, gaming, right? But, you know, of course, it's regulated. And so through, you know, the, the sports books and all that stuff, they're going to start allowing that. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to put a bill where they take a portion of those earnings through sports books to help pay for, like, California homeless problem and all this other crap. And it's like, come on, people. How about lower the prices because you keep inflating the prices and forcing people to, you know, get evicted and all that because the prices are too damn high in California. But no, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, in my profession, common sense ain't so common. And they're just going to continue to nickel and dime people out of everything that you worked hard on, right? So that's just how it is. Uh, other than that... Uh, that's the latest in the crypto news. We'll catch up again from here and uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this stuff. 
All right, as the market's trending down, I'll see you in the next one.